Hey, it's the Bearded Real to back at you again with a new video. Hey, so in today's video, we're going to talk about why Zillow has stopped buying houses. Um, so Zillow uh, announced earlier this week that they're going to stop buying houses until the end of the year. So stay tuned and find out why they did that. All right, so before we get into today's video, let me introduce myself. My name is Maurice Murphy. I go by The Bearded Realtor. And on this channel, we talk about real estate and beards, okay? All it is to it, okay? So if it sounds like something you're interested in too, definitely hit that subscribe button, okay? Definitely appreciate it, and let's continue to help grow the channel, okay? So let's go ahead and get to, the, to today's video. Zillow um, has announced earlier this week that they're gonna stop buying houses until the end of the year. So what is their reasoning behind this? So labor and supply constraints. Um, if you haven't heard, I'm sure everybody's heard, a lot of labor um, job, people are quitting jobs and not working. And supplies for materials are really backlogged. Um, I've done a few new constructions throughout the year and that seems to be the biggest um, setback with the new construction homes that's being built or any type of renovation. So that's really kind of delayed progress and projects for um, new homes and any type of renovations and new projects, okay? So with those two things happening, Zillow decided we're gonna stop buying houses until the end of the year. They have a plethora of, I think it was 3,800, 3,800. They had at least 3,800 houses they purchased this past quarter and they wanna close those out before they start purchasing new property um, at the beginning of the year. And um, I'll link a um, article down below to let you take a more in-depth read on that, that article. Um, but now I want to talk to you about my story and, and what me and my buyers did with the house we um, they wanted to purchase through Zillow. So I have a, a set of buyers who are moving from Fort, who are moving from Fort Myers to Jacksonville, Florida. We've been having a rough time trying to find them a house, and they came upon the Zillow house. So they read the reviews about Zillow and they felt really comfortable about the house. So we make an offer, offer is accepted, and before I get into the offer being accepted, the, the house had sat on the market for over 60 days. So that kind of gave me a feeling like, okay, what is going on with this house and why is there such a big issue, especially in this market? There's no reason the house should sit on the market that long. So my buyers did their research, did their due diligence, and they read up on Zillow and what Zillow is trying to do to the homes that they're purchasing to get them fixed and get them prepared for buyers to purchase. So we made an offer, as I said before, offer was accepted. And then once the offer accepted, we went through the inspection process. And it was a total wreck. Um, there was a lot of things that needed to be fixed on this property. And not to say that all Zillow homes are like this. I'm just talking about the particular one that we dealt with um, through Zillow. It was a lot of issues that the house needed to be done. So what ended up happening was we had to end up canceling the contract. So, and this goes for any property that you do, always get a home inspection and always do your due diligence um, when purchasing a property, regardless of who you're buying it from, okay? So Zillow decided to stop buying properties. They got backlog. Um, I also feel as though, I think it took on a little bit more than, than they bargained for. They were continually buying properties um, sometimes above uh, market value just to resell them for a lesser price, which kind of didn't make sense to me. Um, another realtor in my company had a Zillow offer well over uh, close to 30 or 40,000 over asking and end up reselling that property back for maybe breaking even prices. So it's a weird business model that they have. I'm not quite sure of what is going on at Zillow and why they decided to um, continue buying these properties and they still had a backlog of a lot of properties they hadn't finished yet and haven't sold. That's kind of ass backwards if you ask me, all right? So that's all I have for this video. I want to quickly bring that news to you. Um, if you are a realtor and you're thinking about getting into the real estate game, definitely hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to talk to you. Um, also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? So I'm gonna be a realtor and I'll talk to you soon.